Hi everyone, Sharon here. I just wanted to put a quick video together to first welcome you into this new 21 Day Fix Challenge group and thank you for putting trust in me to get you through this journey on this 21 days of getting back to or starting on a new healthy you. So first and foremost, just to get this out of the way, this is a private group so we can share anything between us and that is meant for accountability and support purposes. I will be included in this. Uh, what were your ups and downs for the day? Were you tempted to eat something? How did you prevent uh, yourself from eating that food? And we're, we're here to cheer each other on so we have a uh, better rate of success. So um, just wanted to get that out of the way. Just wanted to let you know that what happens in this group stays in this group. So hopefully you've all gotten a chance to open up your package, just make sure that you have everything that should be in there, your containers, um, obviously your program. Um, there's a chart, the workout chart that goes with that. Um, your Shakeology, you should have a, a recipe card with that, with the particular Shakeology that you ordered. I'll go over that quickly later on in this video, how to best mix that for the first time. But before you do any of that, you'll notice that I've posted uh, throughout this week, different things that you um, should be doing in order to prepare for our starting on Monday. And one of those things was to actually register as a challenger. What does that mean for you? Well, it's going to hold you more accountable and it's going to mean for you to do some scary things. It's going to require you to take some measurements. It's going to require that you take your weight. It's going to require that you do uh, before photos. And yes, I said it is scary and very revealing and very humbling to do so. How do I know? I had to do it myself. But it's well worth it when you see your results at the end of 21 days. And if you want to go another round um, to better increase your success. Uh, Beachbody uh, has you do this also that in addition to holding you accountable, you're eligible for uh, some cool prizes. They give out daily prizes of $500 on up through the grand prize of $100,000 for those who have proven success with their program. So how cool is that? I mean, just to register as a challenger and check into the gym daily online to log in your workouts and to log in your measurements. And at the end of each program, Beachbody sends you a t-shirt uh, for the particular program that you're doing. Um, this happens to be the 21 Day Fix t-shirt that you will have noticed in the pamphlet or the information that was sent to you in your challenge pack. So how cool is that? You get a free t-shirt. So uh, And also, as far as doing your measurements is concerned, you'll notice too on the back where exactly you need to put your measuring tape to get those done. So if you don't want to write on here, I know I hated doing that because I didn't want to ruin this. Just take a piece of, of paper and put that off to the side and log your stats. Very important. Why? Because not everything as far as a program, your success will be based on the weight of the scale. Why do I say that? If you've never worked out and you're working your muscles, those muscles, as they build, will weigh more than the fat that you're losing. So as I said, it's key that you use this measuring tape and take your measurements. You'll notice more so uh, in the first few weeks. In addition to the weight loss, the amount of inches that you lose. So that's pretty cool. Now, getting to your meal plan. You'll notice the eating plan booklet that um, you first off want to decide or figure out, I should say, what your caloric intake should be by using this particular chart. Once you figure that out, you'll know how many of the green containers, the veggies that you can have, how many of the red, which is a protein that you can have, how many servings of that, how many fruits that you can have, how many of the healthy fats, how many of the carbs that you can have, and um, these will be for your nuts and your dressings. Now, these containers, you can certainly put food in them and take things with you, but they're actually meant for measuring purposes or portion control uh, that you can visually see what that means when you put the food on your plate so you get a better overall idea of what a serving size should be. 
So that's pretty much it as far as the containers are concerned. And you're going to be eating more food than what you, that you realize. And you will be satisfied with the amount of portions that you'll be eating. We'll uh, be sharing some of the, uh, the foods that you've created using these containers. I'll ask you to share a few photos. So that'll be fun to see what people come up with with those. <clears throat> oh, getting back to the protein container, your red, your Shakeology is one portion for the day for a protein. So that's pretty much it for that. Now, getting back to the Shakeology. Um, whether you have um, a bag or your individual packets, as I said, that's one serving for the day. I like drinking mine first thing in the morning as a breakfast, which is usually like a banana and maybe a cup of coffee to start my day. That's how my days usually start out. Um, you can use or I suggest whatever recipe calendar that came with your flavored shake. Take a look over it. Take a look at the ingredients, uh, what most pleases your taste palate you would know. If you like bananas, if you like um, mango, if you like coconut, um, then you can go and create your shopping list based on the different foods that you can put in your container. Start a list with that and include uh, your fruits for your Shakeology. Hint as far as the fruits, I find that um, you can certainly use fresh, but if you use the frozen fruits, your frozen blueberries, your frozen pineapple, frozen mango, strawberries, um, they act um, as a thickening agent for your shakes. Then that way you don't have to use as much crushed ice in them to make it a nice, thick, delicious shake. The frozen fruit helps with that, so that's a little suggestion. As far as mixing your Shakeology, yes, you can use water to mix with it. Um, you can use orange juice if you have vanilla. You can also use the um, unsweetened almond milk. If you're going to try it for the first time, I would stay away from the water. Uh, you can use that later once you have um, an acquired taste for the Shakeology. When you first blend this up, uh, you're going to put um, your almond milk or orange juice in your blender first, some chipped ice or your frozen berries, and one scoop. Yes, you're going to fill the scoop all the way to the top to put it in your blender and blend it well just to make sure that there's no thick clumps in the um, blender itself. But yes, rather than using the shaker cup, yeah, you can do that if you're on the go. But the first few times that you have your Shakeology, I would recommend using the blender for a better mixed taste and uh, as far as the creaminess of it, you'll better um, enjoy the shake that way. So um, that's pretty much it as far as what um, you're going to do with your portion control and your Shakeology and getting those measurements done. You can also download some of the meal charts. You'll notice at the back of the uh, booklet, these what they call the tally sheets. You figure out how many um, of each container that you can have. You can download these charts if you want to track and check off you know, when you've done a green, when you've done a purple, when you've done a red, blue, etc. And that way you can keep track of um, how many containers that you can have in a day. Then you know when everything's checked off, you've met your number of each, you're done for the day. So, um, as I said, welcome to the group. I want everyone to have fun. I look forward to seeing the results of everyone. I'm just so ex excited to have everyone here. And everyone have a great day. And I will see you all on Monday. Take care. Bye.